Well, I usually leave these these things to the end of, a, of my interviews, but I really got to say, rest in peace, Aaron Carter. Yeah. You actually called me the other day to break the news to me. Mm-hmm. And this is someone that we both interviewed multiple times. Um, I was shocked. Uh, how did you feel when you heard the news? Yeah, I was definitely shocked. But at the same time, I mean, I had interviewed him, I think maybe like a week and a half before he passed. I'm not sure. But it came out three days before he passed. Huh. And when he came in that time, he definitely was not in a great mental state. Like, I, I remember you saying that you hadn't interviewed him for like over a year before he passed. It was the same thing with me where I was kind of interviewing him regularly and then i didn't do it for a period of i don't know a year or two and then i decided like okay he hit me up i'm like let's do it i want to see how you're doing check in came in to do the interview it wasn't great you know i I, he was drinking lean and oh he was drinking lean in the interview i mean he tried to deny it but it was like super purple he's got a double cup i don't know what what else it would have been but you know he's he's just kind of like slurring his speech and You know, I heard that him and his girl broke up again like two days after we did the interview because she was there, like posted up. like, And I guess they had been through this dramatic breakup. And some of the stuff that I was talking to him about was super depressing, like him having his kid taken away by the by the state or whatever. And, you know, at one point I'm trying to like tell him, like, you got to get your kid back, dude. Like, you can't be thinking about anything else. You got to just be focused on how to get your kid back. And then I start to think that's probably not a good idea. Right. Like, he doesn't really seem like he's in a state where he'd be able to. Wait, I don't understand, though. Okay, wait, but his girl was there with him. Yeah. So how did he get his kid taken away if he's with his girl still? Well, I guess the the kid got taken away from both of them. From both of them? And went to live with her grandma. Oh. Which, you know, and I don't know if his girl has issues or if it was 100% him causing the issues, but I guess it's like, I mean, he tried to blame it on the fans, like, reporting abuse or like reporting him saying that he's on drugs saying all this yada yada but they did get in a big fight at one point and then i don't know exactly what happened after that but it's like you know i I was trying to like urge him to like really focus on getting his kid back i can't imagine that if i was in his position i'd be thinking about anything else but you know he was really in the middle of his addiction and everything and one thing i thought was interesting that's kind of gone uh unnoticed is that in that interview he fully apologizes to his brother nick and said because he had said many times that Nick was a rapist and Nick had done all this terrible shit to all these people and yada yada. And um, in the interview, he basically acknowledges, oh, I was taking somebody else's word for that. I don't actually believe that huh. that's true, which I found really interesting. I'm like, so you were, you were smearing him for all these years just because you believed one random person? I don't know. But then there was a clip that came out last night of a uh, Backstreet Boys performance yeah. where his brother actually like broke down crying, talking about losing him and everything and it was kind of it's kind of crazy to see that you know where i'm sure nick to a certain extent had felt sort of you know plagued by his brother and traumatized by having his brother like really trying to smear his career for all these years saying all this terrible shit about him and then to see him go before they were able to ever really reconcile but i mean aaron in my interview was saying that he would like to reconcile with his brother and i'm thinking in my head i'm like that is probably a ways away until you, you know, there's going to have to be some space between you having made all these accusations about him and him being able to accept you, you know, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just a super sad ending to that story, you know? 